North Carolina high school senior David Cole Withrow was arrested a while back for bringing guns on school grounds. Now, uh, a lot of you will be happy to know that not all schools have completely lost their minds. There are some schools that still punish people bringing uh, deadly weapons. So, now we've talked at length about all the absurd laws that are on the books in Midwestern and Southern states around the United States. So, for example, uh, it's legal in some places to carry a gun while drunk in a bar. Because what could go wrong, of course? Uh, it's legal on a federal level for somebody, a suspected terrorist to buy a gun. A suspected terrorist. And when you look at polling, by the way, everybody's against that. Republicans, conservatives, uh, liberals, independents. But it doesn't matter because the NRA, who are funded by the gun manufacturers, they set the agenda, the political agenda. So uh, the people who should least be making gun policy, the gun manufacturers, who have their profits tied to selling more guns, they're the ones setting the agenda. There's also laws in states where you can carry in places of worship. Because what more would Jesus want. He obviously wants you to walk around with a fucking AR-15. Duh, right? Uh, well, obviously some schools uh, allow them in. A uh, school in North Carolina not only punished this high school senior, as I said, he was arrested, and he pled guilty to a misdemeanor crime last Thursday. And look, they went after him because naturally they wanted to set an example and disincentivize more kids who may have... Uh, Questionable parents, maybe, who might say, yeah, go ahead, bring a gun to school or whatever. They want to disincentivize that. They want to let them know, look, there's going to be a punishment if you do that. So, Jerry Falwell Jr., the son of the late and infamous uh, Jerry Falwell Sr., heard about this, and he's now the Chancellor of Liberty University. So, they reached out to the kid and offered him a full scholarship. I don't know. Wait, stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Okay. So, the kid brings a gun to school, and uh, Liberty University goes, that's who we want here. Go get him. Go get Full scholarship. Full scholarship. Now, Liberty University, of course, is a sad joke because it's, I mean, there's absurd biases. I mean, they teach, you know, like, biblical creationism. There's... Nothing about that school that actually says it's a real school. It's, it's a clown-ass school, but for some reason it's taken semi-seriously in the world, right? Okay, but you're going to incentivize kids to now bring guns to school? You're going to offer them scholarships for bringing a gun to school. A scholarship. Now, the part about this that I love even more is that apparently the kid felt really sorry about bringing the gun to school because when he reached in his backpack to take out a book, he saw that the gun was there, and later in the day... Uh, somebody overheard the kid talking on his cell phone to his mom and saying, Mom, like, I don't know, did you put the gun in my bag by accident? I got the gun with me. I don't want the gun in school. It's crazy, right? So, uh, it was, it looks like it was an accident. And he, and afterwards, when he was interviewed by the media, he apologized profusely and he said, look, it's not what I wanted to do. I don't think it's a responsible thing, yada, yada. So, when... Jerry Falwell Jr., after he offered him the scholarship, people uh, approached him and they said, look, man, did you hear what this guy said? He said he didn't mean it and he wouldn't have done it and uh, he doesn't think it's a, uh, it was a smart idea. And by the way, the kid's family, they're not well off financially. And he said, I want to go to college, but I don't have the money, so this is going to help me out. I can, if I can go for free, this is big time, right? You know what Jerry Falwell Jr.'s response was? He said, I, you know... I think that the media is making him say certain things that he didn't want to say. And I'm not sure I believe that. So no matter what my uh, scholarship stance. In other words, he's saying uh, there's a conspiracy of the media to try to make him, the kid, pretend like uh, he brought it by accident when Falwell thinks, no, he brought it on purpose, and I want him at my school full scholarship because he brought it on purpose. Uh, you know, why not stop there, Jerry? Uh, go, go further. A kid who brings a grenade launcher into school not only gets a full scholarship, they get to be uh, dean of the sociology uh, department. Why, why stop there? Why stop there? Keep going further. If you bring a tank, uh, if you drive a tank to school, then uh, you have not only a job after you get your full scholarship at Liberty University, but you have tenure. 